Hey everybody, welcome back to Majestic Collectibles. It's about two hours before opening at the uh, Des Moines Con. And as you can see, got a lot more stuff set up. Still have quite a few dealers browsing around. I'll do a little more of a walk through. Gentlemen, morning, ready for a big day? Good luck. Uh, thank you, you too. Thanks. A lot of nice folks here. Meet a lot of nice people uh, setting up and the attendees and uh, Ben and the crew do a fantastic job of putting these together. If you've never been here, you really, really need to come to one of his shows. He does Alaska, Twin Cities, uh, here in Iowa, thinking, uh, thinking Indiana, a few other places. Nerd Street is his uh, business name and address. And you can see pretty much a lot more stuff set up. Just got to uncover fluff the booth a little bit and everybody's going to be ready ready to go I don't know how many vendors are here uh, this year a lot more than last year you can see big anime manga presence you're into stuffed critters So a lot of these boards, uh, back wall books and stuff, uh, people don't put up for security. So they'll go up uh, this morning. I'm gonna sneak through here. I'm not going in particular order. Uh, here's John Wells, another promoter, local guy. He's got some shows coming up in Cedar Rapids and Des Moines and I will be at that one for sure. In fact I'm going to take a couple of these. I'll put them on my booth and set them out. I'll come back and see if he's got some extras. I can put them out uh, at some more shows over the summer. There you go. Toys and action figures and comics. Almost as cool as my booth. Haha. <laughs> Just trying to stay out of everybody's way here while they're still setting up. And here we got some uh, costume groups here. Got the 501st. You can do some photo ops here. Join the group. They've got some member trading cards. And I'm sure they will be fully staffed here very soon. They'll probably be coming in pretty quick. Um, more photo ops. You can get your battle droid. IG-88. Oh, no, IG what? 12, I guess it was. 1213 with Grogu. And you can see they're non-profit, so they do donate to some charities. Ooh, another local vendor. Looks like you guys are all ready to go. So, well, we're never all ready because you, you know, if I brought everything, I would still for. Well, I'd still forget something. You know what I'm saying? I could, I could bring every stick I could find, and it'd still be, still be short. And a lot of guests. Here's your way down here. Um, is going to be where the celebs are at. So if you've got your ticket, you can order them online. You can buy them here. This will be the celeb photo op portion. Morning. Morning. 
Oh, there's some Pokemon cards. I've got some too. I don't have mine out yet either. I gotta get. Hey, how's it going? Ready for another great show, right? Oh, yeah. I've got to get back to my booth and finish fluff, fluffing up. Here is uh, Jeremy's booth, uh, No Coast Comics. He's the one that uh, designed and invented the comic shell. And I know he's going to have some here. He's just not here yet, but it looks like he's pretty much ready to go. So stop by and see Jeremy if you're in the show. Right on the nice corner there. Lots of comics in the room. Always glad to see. Sometimes you show up at these and there's only two or three comic dealers, but it looks like we're going to have a big variety of comics, so that's going to be awesome. So if you're if you're an 80s kid like me, this will look awful familiar. I can't even tell you how many quarters I dropped into these machines over the years. So just some good old fashioned stand up arcade games. Lots of crafters, artisans, homemade uh, folks. Well, the folks aren't homemade. They, they make the homemade crafts and art. So just to be clear there. And if you guys have been counting at home, I don't know how many dealers we got. It's got to be at least twice the size of last year, minimum. Minimum. And this is all the artist alley. I know we got uh, Phil Hester's here. Aunt Lucia is going to be here from Bombshells uh, Creator. So I'll tell you, a lot of a lot of people to meet. Amy Joe Johnson and uh, David Yost, uh, Power Rangers, blue and pink. Power Rangers on that one. Lots and lots of pop figures. It is no exaggeration to say the pop figures are in the thousands. And this is kind of fun for me too because uh, I didn't get to see what was here uh, yesterday. You know, you work on your own booth and you talk to a few people you know, but you really don't get to look around. And then once the doors open, oh boy, I'm, I'm probably not going anywhere for several hours. Last year, I think we had 9,000 pre-sale tickets. And uh, sounds like this year, uh, about one and a half times that, I was told. So I don't know what the math is on that. Is that around 12,000 maybe? Uh, I don't know, 13,000? And that's really good for a, uh, a second year show. So really fantastic growth. Uh, obviously the uh, market here in Des Moines, Central Iowa is very strong for this type of show. And I think I'm just about done. I think I got most of the aisles. Sorry about the uh, kind of the wandering order. Oh, there's Ant's booth with the with the bombshell stuff, local uh, local Des Moines guy. Uh, knew him before he was even uh, the bombshell creator. So a really great artist, stop by and see him. And then back here, this is all 
the uh, guest photo op stuff. So this is all going to be roped off. You can see the uh, the pipe and drape going up now, so you can't just uh, walk by and take a picture. I'm just going to get a quick shot. And you can see, let me see if I can zoom in here a little bit. There we go. And you can see all the great guests we've got here today. So stop on down, get your photo ops. Winnie the Pooh's there. I don't know some of these folks because I'm old. And we got the Power Rangers right beside each other. And uh, David's actually uh, an Iowan, I believe, uh, Eastern Iowan. I'm not exactly sure. Uh, went to, I think, it was Graceland College in south uh, southeast Iowa. So you can see we've got just some great guests here. Uh, the other problem with setting up at these shows as a dealer is you really get uh, time to see any of them. Uh, thankfully, my son's along, so I'll send uh, send Cam along and. Kabawabi can help me out. He can uh, he can sneak away maybe and get some uh, autographs for me if I want it. And that's it, guys. That's just a quick quick walkthrough. I hope you enjoy the video. Hope to see you here at the show. Stop by and see me. And thanks for watching.